Carnival cruise ship out there in the Gulf of Mexico where they have onion breath and toilet feet. With us now, Mary Perret and Kim McCarrigan, each a mother of a passenger on the Carnival Triumph. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary's daughter is 10 years old, not 12. Sorry about that. Her name's Rebecca. Kim's daughter is 12, and, and her name is Allie. Mary, have you, have you had any contact with Rebecca at all? Have they said how this whole onion bathroom thing is mixing for them? Mm -hmm. Um, I've had uh, some contact with Rebecca. She called me on Monday about 1.30, um, hysterically crying um, because she was scared. Um, she was very, very scared. Um, she didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and, but what she was most scared about is that um, she was afraid that she would never get to see me again. And that um, oh, was very hard to God. convince her that um, that it was going to be okay. You know, I had to convince myself because I'm learning too. And but to convince a, a 12 year old child that, um, her, you know, she'll, she'll get to see me again was very hard. It was very hard for me. Wow. I'm, I, I can't even imagine. I, I, Kim, uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, what have you heard? Well, my daughter called me the same time that um, Mary's daughter had called her, and I could hear Rebecca just crying and screaming on the other end of the phone. And my daughter was crying, Mommy, I want to come home. Please just come get me. Come take me home. Please just be there to come pick me up. Please, Mama, I want to go home. It's so hot. It's so hot, Mama. Please come get me. You know, and just to hear your daughter's gut-wrenching cry, mm -hmm. and you can't go and get yeah. her, just you know, make you feel helpless. Mm -hmm. But we, I got her calmed yeah, down I, and know, I asked her where her dad was, you know, and her dad got on the I phone. I didn't mean to interrupt, and, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to hear. It's a satellite delay. But, I hate it more than you do. Go ahead, please. Just tell me the story <laughs> and, 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 how, and how they're coping through all of this. I mean, I can't even imagine it. I have little nieces and nephews. I can't even imagine them suck like that. Because what mommy's supposed to always be able to do is fix it. Right. And mommy fix it. Mommy cleans it up. Mommy will get it together. And you know, and you know that's why um, that's why Kim and I are here. Uh, we want to be here when that ship comes in to make sure that our daughters know that even despite everything, bottom line is their mommies are here. That's why we're here. That's why we drove seven hours. Mary and Kim, I, late you, last you, night. Oh wow, You're, you guys mm -hmm. are saints, and I bet they are going to appreciate it. And and I I wonder if you know we read all of these reports, and so often what we get is the worst of the reports, you know. And, and you just hope maybe it's not quite that bad. How's it been described by you guys to you guys by your husbands? On Monday, my um, ex-husband informed me that um, they were eating the onion sandwiches, they had some fruit, they had warm water out of bottled water, mm. not anything cold, um, that they were requesting that they use the restroom in red plastic bags mm -hmm. because the toilets were overflowing Ugh. and, the, and the, the raw sewage was coming up through the showers. That was on Monday. Mm -hmm. This boat has been shaking around for three more days after that. That has got to be horrible. We've brought, you know, we've contacted our family doctors. We've brought, you know, the antibiotics to get them started on until we can get them back to the doctor. You know, just for the bacteria that's probably just running all over their body since they can't take and yeah. wash their hands with soap and water. You know, it's just, I, I'm hoping that I might be de describing a much more disgusting picture, but I'm having a fear that I'm not. I really am. Yeah, that, that's been that's been the fear throughout. You know, there's so many levels on these things. You, the, the cabins are down in the bowels of this. No, no pun intended of this ship. I, I don't know how you could sleep down there. It's in the 90s out there. Where, where are they sleeping? Um, I when I talked to Rebecca, she told me that the first night, Sunday night, she actually slept in the hallway on the floor. Um, they had an interior cabin with um, with no window and with no power, no air conditioning, no air circulation, no anything. And they slept in the hallway on the floor the first night. Wow. And after that, I've not, Good after dream. that, neither one of us have talked to our daughters. We don't know what's happened since then. There's been absolutely no communication well, I, I, whatsoever. I'm, I'm out of time, sadly. I don't even know how you're dealing with it. But, but I want to ask you this. They're going to give you your money back and they're going to give you a free trip to ticket to do it again. I, I just wonder where you might deposit that gift from Carnival. I don't think we're going to be getting one of those. That no, would be up to the...
father-daughter trip if they want to take that one again. Right. The, the mothers aren't getting anything yeah. for the stress and horror no. that they've put us through. No. Not even a... Yeah, my guess nothing. is maybe... It Maybe you just take take it down the beach there. Go to go to Destin or something. Go to Panama City Beach next time. Just just chill on the crystal white sand. I was my, I've never seen it a toilet situation there. But man, best to That's Rebecca right. and Allie. I, I you know make make, make a you. video and tell them welcome home. And I, I hope they <laughs> hope they get over this. Man, can you imagine I hope your so kids too. are off and your mom's sitting at home like that. God, make your skin crawl.